Alright, what's up everyone? It's Kevin, and welcome back to a brand new video. So I just got a package in the mail from the Cubicle, and I ordered Cubas around two days ago, so it came very fast. A huge thanks for the Cubicle for sending it out this fast, and I'm really excited for this unboxing. Um, I ordered a bunch of budget cubes, so I ordered around 18, so I'm really excited for that. I'm trying to collect all the budget cubes under $5 in 2x2, 3x3, 4x4, etc. So yeah, I'm really excited, and without further ado, let's just get right into it. Alright, so let's just crack this thing open. So this is definitely my biggest unboxing ever of cubes, so I'm super excited for that. And yeah, I just can't wait to see everything that's inside. I kind of forget some of the stuff that I ordered. So yeah, I'm super excited, and let's open this thing. Alright, so there's a lot of bubble wrap in here. And it's all taped up. Oh, look at that. That is beautiful. That is deep. Oh, I can't wait. Alright, let's just dump all these out. Oh my gosh. And things are falling everywhere. Well, I'm going to pick those up and I'll get right back to you. Oh wait, but real quick, I got to pop these. I can't forget that. Yes, that was satisfying. So of course, here's the cubicle business card. It looks nice. And then this really uh, long receipt that I can't fit in frame. But yeah, let's just get right into the cubes. Alright, so here are all of the cubes and of course the ZCFOP uh, card set. And so yeah, I'm just going to go through these cubes pretty quickly because I don't want to make this video too long, but I hope you enjoy. Alright, I'm going to start off with 2x2, two two, and so first up we have this mini Z-cube 2x2. Two two. So let's get into turns. Okay, so it's pretty dry, uh, pretty slow. Um, It's really tight. Thankfully it can be tensioned. Uh, the inside of mine is orange and wait oh okay it's different colors well yeah so it's pretty dry um it's really small but it does have a spot for a keychain but there's no keychain in the thing maybe i'll find one in the box later but yeah this is um it'll just be a little fun cube to solve with and i don't know use maybe for my backpack sometimes uh corner cutting is not bad um, it is pretty slow. It can't quite do double turns, but yeah, let's move on to the next cube. Alright, so next up we have this Leaf on Dice 2x2. Two two. Hmm, pretty interesting. It did come with a turn out of the box. But, okay, so this is, uh, very tight and catchy. I feel like it's gonna, uh, catch quite a bit. Uh, it is like a dice. It's pretty small. Just like the last 2x2. Two two. Um... I don't know, this definitely won't be the speed solve on. It'll just be a cool thing to have. But yeah, it's pretty interesting. It's not bad. But yeah, let's move on to the next one. Alright, next up we have a YJ Ruripo 2x2. Two two. Um, Alright, so it's pretty glossy. It's pretty heavy. Um, oh, wow. It's not lubed at all out of the box. Well, like, the outside of the pieces. But right away, this feels really good. Um... Yeah, it's a bit fast. It can do easy U3s. Uh, corner cutting, just under, halfway across, so 45. But yeah, this is really good. I I don't know, I might speed solve on this quite a bit. It feels pretty satisfying to turn. It's really buttery and smooth and fast. Although it's pretty loud, but yeah, this will be pretty fun to solve on. Moving on. Alright, so here's a Maylong 2x2. Um, standard, just box pamphlet okay so it's pretty dry out of the box but it definitely is pretty fast it does u2s really easily it feels really light and has really really smooth turning i might actually do a review on this later on but yeah i'll do a review probably on most of these cubes that's why i'm not going too much into it but yeah i actually really like this it feels kind of like the mf uh the um Cuban Classroom, Mofeng Jiaoshi, 2x2. Two two. It's very similar. It has black internal, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, I really like this, and I might do a review on it later. We'll move on to the next cube. Oh, and really quick, the corner cutting is far over 45, so that's a really big bonus. Alright, next up we have this Chi Chidi 2x2. Two two. Um, I have the S version, so I thought I'd just get the normal. Um, this is in black, not stickerless. Okay, so it feels pretty similar to the Chi Chidi S. Um, it sounds pretty hollow, it catches a little bit, the corner cutting uh, is about half a piece, it's not that good, it's not too fast, but it sounds pretty dry, 
Um, yeah, I'm getting a bit of catches. Um, it's pretty interesting. It's almost, it's basically like the Chi Chi DS. Just a little worse, a little more catching. But yeah, I might do a review on this too. I'm definitely going to do a budget 2x2 comparison in the future. Well, most likely, so stay tuned for that. Um, here's the Shang Shao tank. Oh gosh. I didn't expect much from it because of the 3x3. Okay, this is very dry and super tight. It only corner cuts barely even half a piece. It's extremely tight. Oh gosh. Yeah, it's really tight. Uh, black internals. It's pretty, pretty fast, but it sounds very dry. It's I'm getting a little clicking noise. And yeah, this isn't going to be too fun to solve on. But it's very square, I feel like. Yeah, I'm just going to move on to the next cube. It's not that good. Alright, so here's the Yushin Kirin Black 2x2. I'm really excited for this. Um, I had high hopes because it's 3x3, so I hope it's as good as I expected. Okay, it's a little weird, like, textured. It's a little luby on the outside on some... Oh, gosh. Okay, that's very tight and slow. Yeah, it's... Oh, I mean, a double turn pretty easily, but... Corner cutting is about three quarters of a piece, so not bad. It's just very, very dry. It's not catching, it's just really slow and tight. It, I don't know, it's not too pleasant. It's definitely not what I was expecting because of how amazing the 3x3 was. But, I don't know, maybe with a little, I feel like with a little break in, this definitely has some potential. But right out of the box, it's definitely not the best. Yeah, corner cutting isn't the greatest. It's not too fast, it's pretty dry. It's definitely not what I expected from the 3x3. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this is the Yushin Little Magic 2x2. There's a little pamphlet in there. So this looks kind of like the Kirin, but it's definitely a lot glossier, as you can see. Um, yeah, first turns. Okay, so it's definitely very, very loose. Holy cow. And extremely fast. Let's see if I can get a quadruple. Okay, so this is very, very loose and fast. Corner cutting is out of the box, is over a piece. I definitely have high hopes for this. This is going to be pretty good. I might need to tighten it a little bit and lube it. Sounds a bit dry or out of the box, but it probably wasn't really pre lube much. But yeah, this is really good. The, oh gosh, it corner twists very easily because it's very loose. But yeah, I expect really good out of this. I definitely might actually make a review on this, so stay tuned for that probably. Alright, so for the last 2x2, two two, we have a Shang Shao Legend. Of course, it has that little Shang Shao wrap and a little pamphlet. Um, okay. So it's a. It sounds a bit hollow. Oh, that's definitely really springy and tight. Okay. So it definitely has a sort of Shang Shao feel, kind of mixed with a Z cube, I think. Like that little Z cube 2x2. Two two. Okay, it's definitely not the best. It's extremely tight out of the box. What is up with Shang Shao cubes and tightness? has sort of a bubbly feel, it's very dry, it's pretty slow, it can barely do a double turn. Corner cutting, not even a cor- do you see that? Okay, so this is really bad out of the box. Not quite what I was expecting, but yeah, I don't think this is worth a review, it's not that good, but it's for collection purposes, so whatever. Alright, so moving on to 3x3, here is a ZQ mini keychain 3x3. Um, this is glow in the dark, that's what I ordered. Uh, okay, so the keychain doesn't come off, but that'll be fine. I don't ever really want to speed solve on this. But, okay, so, it's not bad. Corner cutting is about a piece, so a little better than I was expecting. It's, the tensions, oh, the keychain keeps getting in the way. The tensions are pretty tight, but this looks cool. I definitely think it'll be cool in my collection. This is pretty fa satisfying to turn, except for that keychain that keeps getting in the way, and it can't be removed, but whatever. I think this will just look cool on my shelf in the dark at night. But yeah, it's pretty interesting. Alright, so next up we have a mini Chi-E keychain 3x3. This is about 30 millimeters, maybe a little less on these sides because it's pillowed. Um, oh wow, this is really, really good. I'm just going to move this out of the way. Um, yeah, this is definitely feels really buttery and smooth. It's very quiet. Um, can the keychain come off? Okay, yeah, the keychain can come off, so that's great. Um, it's really, really smooth. I'm so surprised. 
Okay, double flip very easily. Um, corner cutting is... I don't expect too much out of mini cubes. It's about a piece, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, I'm really liking this. It's pillowed. It's around 30 millimeters. But yeah, I think you can get this for like $3, so that's nice. It's just really smooth. I'm really liking that. But let's move on to the next cube. Alright, next up we have this 45mm YJ Mini Bread 3x3. That really is like the full name. Um, okay, so a little double box. Pamphlet. Move it out of the way. Okay. Oh, wow. This isn't bad. This is also pillowed like the last one. It sounds pretty dry. Um, it's pretty fast though. You can do a double turn pretty easily. A little over. Um, the corner cutting is around a piece just like the other mini cubes um yeah it's decently fast i'm getting a little bit of catches but that's to be said on this mini uh pillowed cube so not to worry yeah i'm really kind of liking this it sounds a bit dry and papery but that'll probably go away with a little bit of break in but yeah i'm actually really liking this this is pretty neat all right next up we have this mini chi warrior i'm pretty sure it is jelly cube uh, with the keychain, so this keychain can also come off. Same with the last one, I forgot to say. But, wow, this is really nice. This is so buttery smooth. I saw Ting Man's review on it, and it was the same. Wow, this is so cool. I love these colors. This is going to look so cool scrambled. I'm not going to do it right now and solve, just because of timing purposes. But, yeah, this is really buttery smooth. It's pretty fast. It double turns, uh... Pretty easily, some of those weren't, but corner cuts a little less than a piece. But I mean, again, that's to be said with mini cubes. I love these colors though, that is so nice. I'm really gonna enjoy this on my shelf and my collection and just to play with, especially to take around to places. It's a little floppy, but yeah, this is really neat. I'm really excited to play with this more. And of course, I had to get the full size version, I can't get the mini without this. Okay, so it is matte surface. Okay, so yeah, this is like a Chi Warrior W, so it feels basically the exact same. But again, I really love the colors, and this is so smooth. Oh my goodness. This is amazing. I mean, it, again, it just feels like the Chi Warrior W, but it's really quiet, kind of papery sounding. Uh, the corner cutting out of the box is a little bit over a piece, but for some reason, Chi Warrior W and S, they're just not that like good at corner cutting out of the box. It's pretty tight. It does a triple turn pretty easily. But yeah, this is actually going to be really nice to speed solve on. I really love the colors again. I'll just scramble this one up, but I'm not going to solve it. Yeah, look at that. That is so nice. I'm really going to enjoy playing with this. Alright, so we're nearing the end of the 3x3s. With our second to last one, we have the YJ Rui Long. So the same kind as the Rui Po. It is a little dirty and dusty on the outside. Oh gosh. Okay, so... It's not quite as good as a 2x2, two two, I feel like. It's pretty slow, although it's doing double turns pretty easily. It's very, very papery and kind of catchy. Okay, it is pretty tight out of the box. I'm definitely going to need to loosen this. I feel like it would be fun to turn on. It's kind of loud, but right now, it's just not the greatest. Corner cutting is slightly over piece, so that's not that good either. I was kind of expecting more out of this since the 2x2 two two is amazing. But, I mean, not bad. It definitely is going to be pretty fun to solve on with a little bit of break-in and tensioning and lubing and all that, etc. But yeah, this is pretty nice. I'm excited to do some solves on this and maybe I'll do a review in the future. Moving on to the next cube. Alright, so here's our final 3x3. And this should be the YJ Jinjiao. Okay. Whoa, that's a really nice green. I like that, like, mint green. These colors are really nice. Holy cow. That is nothing what I was expecting. This is extremely good. I feel like I could actually really speed solve. This gives a lot of good grip. It is a bit pointy, but I mean, that's to be said. But yeah, this is actually really good. It's super smooth. It could do triple turns with ease. Uh, corner cutting. Wow. 45 degrees on this thing. That is crazy. This is my first ever concave cube, and I'm already super impressed with it. This is going to be so fun to solve on and just take with me on trips. Oh, I can't wait to just play with this some more. This is so nice. I don't know if I'm going to do a review because it's just a concave 3 by 3 But yeah, I'm super impressed with this. This is incredible for just 
that's it. All right, so now we are moving on to the 4x4s. Here's the Yushin Black Kirin. Um, I have high hopes because of the 3x3, but not because of the 2x2. Oh, goodness. Okay, this is extremely tight and dry. Definitely nothing like the 3x3. Pretty similar to the 2x2, though. This is very, very crispy and dry. It's really, really slow. Can't do a 45. It. Oh gosh, I don't want to pop this thing. I feel like I could get a really bad lockup if I just try any harder. So I'm just gonna go easy on this thing. It's definitely not what I was expecting from the 3x3. Yeah, this is just really dry, tight, crispy, and just pretty unsatisfying to turn. Not too pleasant. All right, and finally the last cube in this unboxing, probably the one I'm most excited for, but I don't know why, is the Maylong 4x4. I was super impressed by the 2x2 and 3x3, so I have good hopes for this. Okay, so it's pretty dry. Um, the inner layers are quite a bit slower than the outer layers. Um, it's kind of catching, uh, probably because of the slower inner layers. But, I f oh, I definitely getting faster already with a little break in this will be really like superb it'll be awesome but yeah I've seen reviews on this and it's pretty good after a bit so yeah I'm excited this also has black internals so that's pretty neat with the stickerless cube but yeah I feel like I want to say more about this but I don't really know I want to keep this short and concise I might do a review on this later this is actually really nice I haven't gotten my hands on many Maylong cubes lately I'm super excited to play with this more, and I probably will do a review. Uh, double turns pretty easily. Corner cutting around a piece. So this is pretty good, and yeah, that's going to be all. Oh wait, no, I forgot one more thing. These few little ZC FOP cards. I only got these so I could get free expedited shipping. <laughs> but yeah, so F2L, OLL, and POL. Yep, these won't really help much since I already know the algorithms. But if I ever forget any, I could just carry these around, and that's actually pretty cool. Alright guys, so that's gonna have to wrap up this enormous unboxing. Again, thank you so much to the Cubicle for the, for sending these so fast. They are absolutely amazing. I definitely recommend them. Um, everyone go buy cubes from them right now. Support their company. They are awesome. And yeah, I just don't really know what to say. This is was an awesome unboxing. I was so excited for it. And I got what I asked for. It was so fun. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe, as well as turn on all notifications so you don't miss out on any cool new videos on this channel in the future. Also, share this video with everyone you know and comment down below what you thought and what cubes I should order in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you all next time. Bye!